right now, you're beginning, you're seeing it live. The, uh, the, the harnesses are just now being loosened up, and that's good news because that means that the load is now secure on the uh, tractor trailer rig inside. But this is what it looked like earlier, about 3.30 this afternoon. That's when Corpus Christi PD received the phone call, and they found the middle mast to a windmill, which is produced by or manufactured by General Electric. That windmill was leaning against a telephone pole and a private fence. Some damage occurred to the fence. The, uh, the electric company had to come out here and turn off the power to that light pole. Traffic at that particular time was light. That wasn't a problem. But now with traffic already picking up, it's already that time, looks like uh, folks are trying to rubberneck along I-37. But how long is all this going to last? Here's what Lieutenant Trevino with CCPD told us. Obviously, we have to uh, uh, put officers in the proper locations to go ahead and, and block traffic and try to keep traffic mo moving as smoothly as possible. But it's going to cause some delays. I mean, obviously, it's a huge piece of equipment. It's very heavy. So it's going to cause some delays to get it back on the trailer. Now, I just spoke with uh, one of the crane operators also, uh, or the supervisors with TNT Crane and Rigging Company. They told me that it's going to take at least another 45 minutes, possibly another hour, before they really get everything secured, cleaned up, and then the trucker will be able to take off with that load once again. The problem here is the trucker who works, works for American Trucking Company, which is out of Pittsburgh, he's not familiar with these roads, and he has to go through TxDOT to find out which roads to take. Well, guess what? This was not one of those roads, so therefore we wound up with this situation. Now, uh, with the, uh, be careful again on I-37 and Rand Morgan Road exit. Folks are rubbernecking to see what's happening. Joe, back to you. All right, Mike, we're seeing a live at the scene of 